Google Maps is an amazing tool. It can show you the detailed landscape and terrain on a map using satellite and aerial images. But sometimes those pictures pick up something kind of unsettling. This traffic intersection in Jalisco, Mexico, just a normal traffic intersection. Nothing too bizarre to speak of yet. But what if we look down the road a bit? As we zoom in closer, there appears to be some sort of traffic collision and the images from Google Maps captured the exact moment of it. Take a look. If you zoom in a little more, you can see the head of one person smashing through the truck's window with the other person trying to hold on to him. It's a little unsettling that even some of the world's most tragic moments are being caught on film around us. Finally rescued in 2013, Ariel Castro held three women against their will at the above Seymour address for up to 11 years. When the above Google Street View pic was taken in 2009, the women were still inside. Google appears to have since censored the house itself. For every person who dies in Nagoro Village, a life-size doll is built in memory and placed somewhere in the village where the deceased might have been. The tiny village even has one teacher and two student dolls in a now-closed village school. As of 2014, resident and doll maker had made over 350 of them. The dolls in the village now outnumber the residents. You can see this attempted robbery in Colombia step by step. Apparently, the young man in the first picture had just been handed a gun by the fellow seen heading inside. Then as you get closer, Google has censored out any closer view of the would-be robber. Finally, the last image. You can see locals realizing something bad is about to go down and moving away from the now totally censored man. According to other sources, this is the point at which the now censored man with the gun opened fired on the Google driver. Here's an older, uncensored image. On Google Maps Street View, if you go to the scene of the Zodiac Killer's first crime, you can see the Zodiac symbol spray painted on a sign. In the 80s, Centralia, Pennsylvania had over 1,000 residents. As of 2010, there were only 10 left. The reason for the mass migration is the coal mine fire that began there in 1962. It's been burning since then, underground. Fire doesn't cleanse, it blackens. It was this town that inspired the movie Silent Hill. UVB-76 is a signal station in Russia, also known as The Buzzer. Since 1982, it emits a short, monotone buzz 25 times a minute, all day, every day. Only four times since its discovery has it ever broadcasted a voice. Here's a closer photo. In 1997, it broadcasted a pre-recorded voice saying, Yeah, UVB 76, 18008, 7427914. In 2002, a distorted voice said, UVB 76. And in 2006, it broadcasted a longer message. The most recent broadcast was on December 10th, 2014. It was recorded. When it's not broadcasting specific codes, it sounds like this all of the time. This image may not seem like much, but that truck and trailer belongs to one Israel Keys, a serial killer in Alaska who committed at least 11 murders, as well as numerous burglaries and rapes up until his capture in 2012. The above images of Keys working in 2011, a year before he was stopped by authorities. Keys had been extremely difficult to catch because he only committed his crimes away from home and never in the same place. As such, police had problems connecting the events. 
Keyes was finally caught in Texas after using the debit card of one of his victims while traveling the southwest U.S. This image is from 2007. At the time, Philip and Nancy Garrido were still living in their South Lake Tahoe, California home and still had J.C. Dugard locked up in the shed behind the house where they had held her for nearly 18 years after first kidnapping her in 1991 when Dugard was only 11. From the time this photo was taken, it would be four more years before the Garridos were caught and Dugard was freed. You can also see Philip Garrido leaving the house and drive behind the Google vehicle in his beat-up van for a little over a block. After Dugard was rescued in 2011, the home became vacant. As of 2015, it was occupied again, but the trees had been cut down. In 2010, this figure was spotted via Street View on Google Maps. At the time, the internet freaked out and many people laughingly called it an alien. Others thought it was a humanoid or even it was just a piece of weird artwork or something. It was interesting, but easy to dismiss, because such a thing, even in 2010, would have been easy to Photoshop. Regardless, even though it took nearly a year, people started asking questions all over the internet, on bulletin boards, and even on the Google forums. They wanted to know just what this was. December 2011 was a big month for people trying to figure it out. On non-Google forums, it was the same. No one could explain it, but most people sort of laughed it off. That's when they started noticing the image was disappearing, live, on Google Maps. And it was happening everywhere. It is clear from the image that the object itself is blurring. It's obvious that despite never addressing this issue directly, that Google decided to censor out the image so many people had to begun to discover. But why? If it is an art piece, or something, then what's the point of censoring it? What's to hide? Why would Google censor this? Well, it gets stranger. In what feels like an effort to not only hide the person or object, but to also hide that they were trying to hide it. Google has gone a step further in 2016 by censoring the entire building where this was first seen. No other building on the entire street is censored but this one, and it's censored from every direction. Here it is from the other side. Why censor out an entire building? What happened here and why is it so important that Google, one of the richest companies in the world, a company that essentially controls the entire internet, felt it necessary to basically erase it from existence? I hope you enjoy the video. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please contact me on Twitter.